Hello friends! This video has been so highly requested over the last month or so and I'm very excited to bring it to you today. Today I'm going to show you how I take my D&D notes as well as share a few tips that personally help me when I'm in the throes of note taking during a D&D session. Before we get started, here is a rundown of the supplies I use for my note taking with everything linked in the description below that I can find links to. My binders for both of my characters are from Michaels and from Amazon. If you want more information about the interior of the journals, I have videos showing tours of both Lola's and Gray's character notebooks, and I'll link those in the description or in the little info card in the corner. Inside, I use A5 planner paper refills from Amazon in both dot grid and craft paper. The darker craft paper in Lola's notebook is from Michael's and I just cut it down to fit into the A5 notebook size. This small gridded notebook I use for Gray's note taking is from a three pack on Amazon and these journaling stickers that I use throughout my notes are from rnw.net. So when it comes to note taking, I use a combination of my own knowledge and the knowledge my character has. It's important to differentiate between them in order to avoid metagaming or using information that you know to make decisions for your character who may not know that. I use different types of pages in Lola's notebook to differentiate between the knowledge she has and the knowledge I have. I also try to do this with Grey, but she's a bit less suspicious, so her notes are a little bit less formal than Lola's might be. I'd like to get into doing some diary entries with Grey and some entries about the party members, I just haven't done this yet. But I have added some in-character notes at moments where I feel like it's appropriate or that it might be really fun. Overall, my notes are part information, part memory keeping, and part resource tracking. For my divination wizard, I like to record my portents after each long rest and add in a little snippet explaining what each portent was used for just for my own reference. For my level 14 cleric, I have a lot of daily resources that recharge on long rests between items and abilities that she has, so I make a little tracker at the beginning of each day just to have them all together so I'm not scrolling around my character sheet in the heat of battle and can remember to check them off on my character sheet later on after I've ticked them off in my book. When I get a lot of information about a particular NPC or subject, I like to give it one reference page of its own that is always getting updated with new information. I made one of these recently for a character my wizard's party has had a lot of conflict with, and by crowdsourcing everything I know about them, both in terms of metagame and mechanics and in terms of character knowledge, is going to be helpful for the inevitable future encounters we're going to have with him. And because note taking often has to be very fast, just focusing in on a stream of consciousness is really helpful. It doesn't have to be pretty, it doesn't have to be very well organized. If you understand your own shorthand, that is important. Here's an example of a conversation I quickly transcribed using initials to stand in for names, as well as a time where I had to take very quick notes on a series of diary entries we found. The notes are probably not going to be formal sentences or paragraphs most of the time. Any kind of short form, shorthand in point form is going to be really helpful for you to remember these things after the session is over. And lastly, here are a few of my tips to help you as your party's note taker. Number one, use illustrations and doodles to highlight your note taking. Besides making note taking more fun, often it's really helpful to see things like symbols, a room layout, or a drawing more visually. This is why I personally use dot grid paper when possible, as you can even record parts of dungeon or battle maps into your notes for later reference. And it's just plain fun to draw pictures of your characters familiar. Number two, use sticky notes or page flags to identify key pages to flip back to. I like to use these stickers from RNW for, to mark certain areas in my notes to return to and often make them into tabs so I can reference the pages really easily. I made these ones along the top of my notebook just from cutting a sticky note in half and applying just the sticky part folded across both sides of the page, but getting dedicated page flags uh, would be very helpful as well. Number three, don't worry too much about spelling. Fantasy names are notoriously complicated. In the heat of the moment, especially when it comes to NPC names, it's just not feasible to be able to spell Eorsha and get the apostrophe placement correct on the first try. Write it out the way you would say it, and then you can fix it later by double checking the spelling with your GM or with your fellow players. Sometimes you might have multiple spellings on a character's name. That's okay. If you know who you're talking about, you can fix it later on. Number four. 
use different layers of bullet points to keep track of certain conversations and topics. I usually make the first bullet point the scene, location, or NPC that we're currently dealing with. Below that, I can add in details and details about those details without having to necessarily specify who is still being discussed. Drawing arrows to connect information is helpful too, especially if more information comes up after the topic of conversation has changed, which I did here when some more information came up after we had moved on and started looking at a new thing. Number five, collaborate and crowdsource. It's dangerous to go alone, so I highly recommend having multiple note takers if your party is willing. Both campaigns I'm in have three out of five players taking some form of regular session notes, and the other players often can contribute information that they pick up even if they don't write everything down. If your game has multiple note takers, a great way to catch things you may have missed is to create a collaboration Google Doc. I have a Google Doc with all of the party members for one of my campaigns where we record information about the noble families, track the dreams we've been having. There's a lot of names and connections and sometimes you might miss things when you're writing things down, but another party member might get them. I can then use that Google Doc to update my personal notes so I don't have to have yet another tab open to distract me during our games. And that's about it in terms of my tips, tricks, and advice for how I take my session notes. My tips may not work great for you, so be sure to just take any information that I'm saying and apply it to how your brain works, how your note-taking works, and how your D&D party works. If you have any other questions about my note-taking methods or tips, or if you want to leave tips on note-taking for other players, leave them down below and I'll try to help out anyone that has any further questions. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm so excited to be seeing my channel grow and we're moving into the best parts of the year and there are so many creative projects and videos I have on the go to share with you and I just can't wait to see what the next few months brings. And until then, keep it magical and I'll see you again very soon.